February 26, 2024, the city of Aba was agog and the people in jubilant mood. As dignitaries gathered in Aba, including the vice president who commissioned the first power project in Nigeria. And the power project was to light up Aba for 247 uh, for electricity. The people were ecstatic with the prospect that for the first time in their lives they would experience electricity for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 30 days a month and for electricity. But what they did not know, many of them did not know, was the murky waters, the travels, the troubles that Geometric went through for the past 20 years before it got to this level. Hello, welcome to my channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and share. This is the part two on the dark side of our on the dark side of the Aba Power Project. My source, businessday.ng. The world was a very different place when Geometric Power first agreed with the federal government of Nigeria in 2005 to generate and distribute power in Eastern Nigeria's industrial hub of Aba. For instance, Olushe Gompasanjo was Nigeria's president at the time position he would hold for another two years until 2007. Alex Oti, the current governor of Abia State, was an executive director of commercial banking at First Bank and would assume his role as managing director and CEO of Diamond Bank, one of the major financiers of the Aba Power Project until 2011, six years later. Kashin Shetima, Nigeria's current vice president, who inaugurated the plant on Monday, was the manager of Zenith Bank's Enduguri branch. It would, however, take nearly two decades for Geometric to finally get a shot at fulfilling its promise to provide 24 hour power supply to the city of Aba after it turned on the first of its four power generating turbines for the first time on Sunday, February 2020, February 25, 2024. The transformative ABA integrated power plant, Nigeria's first, is now up and running with residents of the city jubilating over the impact it will have on the economy. But private greed and government inability that held it back for so long may forever cast a dark cloud over the private investments in the power sector of Africa's most populous country. Geometric power owned by a professor of engineering and former minister of power, Bart Naji, had been prevented from keeping his promise of lighting up Aba after vested interest, chronic capitalist, and inept bureaucracy, putting up barriers to doing business and market dealings traceable to the very top of Nigeria's political class, combined to delay the 181 megawatt power plant. The plot to stop geometric was at the time enabled by a hapless president, a vice president captured by vested interest and defunct Bureau of Public Enterprise, BPE, also playing a role in granting the APA power project was the National Electricity Regulatory Commission, where conflicting interests had led to the seat, a private sector entity, Interstate Electrics, owners of Enugu Disco whose intent was essentially to kill Geometric. It was a tale with few heroes for the loss of valiance who conspired to keep the city of 2.5 million people virtually in dark. The maker of all, the chairman of Chrome Group and promoter of Interstate Electrics Limited, who was a close friend of Nama Desembo, Nigeria's vice president at the time, was said to have frustrated the operation of the power plant primed to deliver uninterrupted power supply to Aba, a shoe and garment hub in Africa. The sheer misanthropy that accompanies Nigeria's version of bare-faced political brigandage 
and patronage has left households and industries in entrepreneurial Aba, the Japan of Africa, trapped under increasing blackout. Households in the South is experienced blackout several times a month. In 2000, the combined turnover of the shoe and garment industry of Aba, the third largest commercial city in Nigeria, was $200 million. Ofo, who was blocking the project, had Pio Sanyi, secretary to the government of the federation, in his pocket, while Sam Amade, the chairman and CEO of the National Executive Regulation Commission, was beholden to him. The erstwhile managing director of the National Electric Regulatory Commission, Dr. Sam Amadi, has refuted allegations leveled against him at the occasion of the completion and commissioning of the Abba Power Project after many years of setbacks. Dr. Amadi, who congratulated the Governor Alex Oti and Professor Bad Naji and his team, said the occasion is not only a day of jubilation for Abba, but also for the five southeastern region. He distanced himself from the politics of bidding war at the time, stating that Professor Bad Naji was himself a minister at the time and knew exactly what transpired, which was no fault of his, nor that of his commission. When Bad was a minister, if they had separated that area, we would have sold Enugu Disco minus Abba. But because he was confident he would win, he didn't separate it. So when, when after the transition, the one that was supposed to say, we can't separate because already somebody has won it as in court. Several meetings with the federal government, Jonathan asked me to organize a public hearing to settle it. When I when I advertised for a public hearing, the minister attorney general wrote to me and said, it's in court, we shall answer. Now, the fight is, I never had any meeting with a make-up for, a make-up for never had to meet with us because we were regulators, we didn't do the sales. Two, Neither I in Omega for ever had any conversation with me. In fact, it's Bart Naji who had conversation with me privately and I had no role to play rather than to provide evaluation and to provide tariff and regulations to support the privatization. It was Bart Naji who supervised the privatization. Towards the end, he was removed from power. He lost the bid to buy all the enable disc, including his own face area. Amadi threatened to seek redress at an appropriate court of jurisdiction to clear his name and reputation that he has preserved over the years. The story that business they published, which we are going to go to court against them, uh, uh, that there was a conspiracy to, de to deny Bart's uh, entitlement or uh, delay the commission of the Abba Papa is false. If there was any business deal between Emeko Four and the vice president, as the paper alleged, I have no idea. My tenure of this uh, of NEC has been very transparent, and I have asked anyone who has any contrafact to bring them forward, and I will go on voluntary in prison. Benjamin Dickey, Director General of the BPE, Bureau of Public, Public Enterprise, and Mohamed Bello Adoki, Attorney General, we are also marionettes of the Vice President. Together, they managed to pull the wool over the eyes of former President Goodluck Jonathan, keeping him out of the loop with spurious procedural and legal issues. Their delayed tactics slowed down the takeoff of a project financed by the Consortium of American Investors, local and international banks, as well as the International Finance Corporation, IFC, the World, the World Bank's private sector arm. In the year 2001, after the successful execution of the 22 megawatt emergency power station in Abuja to serve a dedicated distribution network within the Federal Capital Territory, Bart Naj, founder of Geometric, was inspired to initiate the ABA integrated power project, a distribution project uh, with an embedded generation company. In year 2004, Geometric Power Limited signed a memorandum of understanding with the federal government to build a power plant in Aba. A year later, in April 2005, Geometric signed the Aba concession agreement also with the federal government, which gave it the right to distribute power to Aba. The government that is NEPA and APL executed a lease agreement. NEPA, NEPA, and APL executed a lease agreement on April 2008 
April 28, 2008, uh, for the distribution of ABA, for the distribution of power to the ring faced residential and commercial consumers at ABA. By the time of the agreement, NEP NEPA sign, assigned its rights, that is, National Electric Power Authority, NEPA, assigned its rights to distribute electric, electric power on the ring faced island of Owerenta, Tisioma, Agbo Hill, Factory Road, and Portacot Road in Aba, and also leased its, its, its distribution facilities within the contract area. Despite the huge promise it held, not only for Aba, but for a country where stable power was elusive, and officials were scoring for templates to keep the lights on across the country, it appeared as though the military power would never light up Aba as a politically influential maker of force stood in the way. Geometric was licensed in 2005 to deliver power supply to Aba and added their business unit, just two out of 18 business units in the Enugu Disco license area. However, the Bureau of Public Enterprise sold EEDC, that is the Enugu Electricity Distribution Company, to a maker of force interstate electric without exempting Aba from the sale thereby causing friction between interstate electrics and geometric. The backing of former Vice President Neymar de Sambu tilted the balance in favor of a first interstate electric. According to knowledgeable sources, the former Vice President had vested interest in interstate electrics and wanted the company to end up by buying any with this school. The Sambu led National Council in Privatization, NCP, bent the rules of the privatization privatization of the power holding company of Nigeria. Successor companies, when interstate electrics failed to meet the August 21 deadline for the payment of the remaining 75% of the bid value. The company was said to have lobbied the NCP and BPE to get them to grant it an extension to pay for the asset, for which industry analysts said there was no moral justification, when similarly, some investors were short out at the preliminary stage, stages in the same circumstances. Until it got to interstate's inability to make any payment at August 21, 2013 deadline, the NCP and BPE did not allow any exception, even when Dangote was a few minutes late in submitting his bid for Giregu and Shiroro, it was disqualified. In November 2012, the Vice President had, through a memo, directed the BPE headed by Bola Onagorua to disregard a 2004 Memorandum of Understanding with Geometric Power and the 2005 and 2006 release agreement that ring faced ABA and Aria their business unit in favor of Geometric. But because she insisted that the contract should be honored, she was asked to quit with immediate effect on November 27, 2013. Analysts described the development at the time as curious in terms of timing and very disturbing from an investor perspective. In suit number HEP HC ABJ CS 106 2013, filed at Federal High Court in Abuja, Geometric sought to restrain BPE from listing the two business units among government owned companies slated for privatization as selling or privatizing the entire Enugu Disco contravenes the existing agreements between the federal government and ABA Power Limited and Geometric. In order to number FH, FHS, FHC ABJ CS 106 Interstate Electric Limited sought to be joined in the case instituted by ABA Power Limited and Geometric Power ABA Limited against BPE in the understanding that an out of court settlement would be the best option for settling the dispute. The National Council on Privatization set up a peace committee. In this report, obtained by Business Day, the NCP committed, committee admitted that BPE indicated that a bar ring faced was incumbent, yet it included a bar ring faced in its bid, and that a bar ring faced area belongs entirely to a bar power limited with its generating power responsibilities. A report by National Electricity Regulatory Commission after a visit to Electric Geometric Power 
infrastructure in Naba, signaling that it will be a disservice to the country in general and the company in particular after investing such a huge amount of money in power infrastructure to be denied the terms of the tripartite agreement. In this regard, the agreement will cast a bad light on the federal government's privatization process and send a wrong signal to other prospective investors in the power sector. In February 2014, a team for the Federal Ministry of Power, led by the Permanent Secretary, after visiting Naba, submitted that the sanctity of the lease agreement of 2004 and supplementary agreement of 2006 between federal government and geometric power be respected and maintained. Several promises by former President Goodluck Jonathan to resolve the matter never materialized. And it was not until 2020 during the Muhammad Buhari administration that the impasse was resolved. Described as the biggest investment in Southeast, Geometric has spent some 800 million on this integrated power project which includes building a 27-kilometer natural gas pipeline from Owaza and Okwa West, the government in Abia State, to the Osisioma industrial layout in Aba. Naji declares as far back as 2015 that his firm paid $3.5 million monthly as interest on the $500 million borrowed from Diamond Bank and other Nigerian financial institutions. Generic Power's Aba project may be a case of late than never, but is that side surely leaves more to be desired. Please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, share and like. See you next time in the next video.